Welcome to some cattail. <laughs> Welcome to another. Are you excited? Are you so excited for this video? Come here. Come show how excited you are. Oh my goodness. You want to look in here? Jasmine. No, you just want love. Let me kiss. Kiss this. <laughs> okay, now we got cat hair on my Herbology lipstick. Ma'am, thank you so much. One moment, please. I will say she is very autumnal. Look at this hair. Look at the oranges and the reds. <laughs> You're popping, Jasmine. Can you pop right out of here, please? I mean, it's not Halloween without a little cat action, but we are keeping it spooky still. I think in this video, we are gonna be doing an unboxing. <laughs> I'm really playing it up as if this is a proper subscription box because what it is, is I ordered me a handful of things. I think it's more than a handful. I think it might be like eight or nine things from the Wizarding Trunk because the Wizarding Trunk does have a store. And if you have not been subscribed to them for ages, which I have not, all the subscription boxes that you have seen, I will link a playlist up above is all I have subscribed to with them. So there were quite a few things that I wanted to get and especially some of them that I feel like, well, they'll just be nice decor, they'll be nice Harry Potter decor, but I think they're gonna fit into a Harry Potter Halloween real well. And honestly, I don't remember everything I ordered because I got it a while ago. So I'm, I feel it feels like an actual unboxing that came in. There's just not gonna be a theme to it, okay? Um, but sometimes items aren't themed to the theme, okay? So we're just keeping it on, on trend. Anyway, that's today's video. Uh, but if you're new here and you wanna be a part of a community that believes cats are wonderful and magic is real, then hit that subscribe button and be notified every time there's a new weird video. All right, let's unbox this non-subscription box. Also, I wanna point out to try something different with my hair. What do you think? We got a little Pippi Longstocking situation going on. I kinda like it. Don't come at me with the anger, the rage. <laughs> All right, what do we get? I don't remember. Actually, I remember one thing because I just put it in here and it feels very spooky. And that item I'm probably gonna need a frame for is one of their art prints. It's like kind of similar to the portrait painting, but more aged. I really like this one a lot more. This is a print of Sirius Black's mother. I just reminded myself her name and I'm not going to say it. It's his mama, okay? <laughs> and she'd be screaming because she's excited for Halloween and I think this face and body and image is going to fit really well into a Harry Potter Halloween. We've got a lot of, you know, House of Black stuff. House of Black just fits in. She's angry. It's nice and dark. So either I'll pick up a black frame that fits this and I have some. I found a, pulling out all the Halloween stuff. I have a whole lot of frames or a gold, like an aged gold would re look really nice with this too. But I got to sort that out and we will decorate with that for sure. Um, the next item that I am seeing, <laughs> as if I didn't remember because I don't remember what I ordered, <laughs> probably won't fit into um, Halloween, but it is very autumnal in color. And it's these right here. Let me pull them out. I haven't actually looked at them, so we're getting a, a first look on the feel, and she feels real nice. These are some like Weasley mittens. Were they kind of, were they intended to be Ron's? I think they might've been intended to be Ron's, but they are very Weasley vibe in color, and they're just like a solid mitten. So I will say they're expecting your thumb to be quite low on your hand, <laughs> but it does grip the thumb nicely, so I think it's fine. But that is what it looks like, and I, I mean, I got it to wear. I do plan on eventually doing some Weasley-esque um, outfits and cosplays. I mean, can we, we gotta do the Weasleys. They just have a whole vibe. Um, Molly knows what she's doing. She also knows how to knit, so I'm gonna guess she knitted these. But I also like the idea of just having them, if you have seen any of my previous, like just showing any decorations, particularly our shelving unit that we did, I have um, Ron's um, hat, which is from, Lit Joy, I think. And it's just draped over a suitcase. So I think just having these out, I want the house to feel lived in. It looks really nice with this shirt. And I think that that would be nice. Just laid around as well as used. I just don't want it to uh, wear, but I do like to use my items. Okay. Oh, let me mention real quick. There is one item that I cannot find. And 
It is, I will attach an image. I mean, Wizarding Trunk only provides one image, so I didn't get to see the backside, but I've seen people unbox the box that it came in, and it's the, um, it says yes and no. It's the divination coin, where you flip over one side, it says yes, the other side says no. I really, really like it. I am collecting coins, and when I got it in, it had a defect at the top. I reached out to the Wizarding Trunk, and they very quickly got me another one and said, yeah, that's a defect, so I appreciate that, um, but I cannot find it. <laughs> and it's in a perfect purple velvet bag, so it should be quite obvious, but I think once we sort out all the Halloween stuff, we will find it. But that's another item that I got, slowly building that coin collection. Um, and then this other item, I mentioned in a previous video, but I actually didn't mention that I bought the thing. <laughs> so it's the box of Lacewing Flies Authentic, apparently. It says authentic on the top. Um, Really with this, you're paying for the box. It is a cardboard box. It's nice and sturdy. I'll give it that. It says black lacewing flies on the edge there and pure blood apothecary on the side. So let me open it up. And then it's just, it's like a trinket box, just one of those cardboard ones. And on the inside it has, oh, they're not the same. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. It's got these tiny little flies on the inside and there's only like, I don't know, six or seven of them in there. But if you remember from the Harry Potter Halloween inspired haul, I'll link that in the aboves, at Michael's, we picked up these guys right here. So they are a bunch of flies. I wanna compare because they kind of looked exactly the same. They are slightly bigger. Let me see if I can show them off. I, I, I cannot believe I'm showing off flies right now on this channel. <laughs> so that's the wizarding trunk and these are the ones from Michael's. Um, I prefer the ones from Michael's, I think, the situation with the actual wings. Oh no, it's the same. Yeah, I prefer the ones from Michael's, mostly because they have a little bit of um, color to them with the black and um, makes it pop a little bit. Oh no, wait, it's not black, green. They're just different. They're just slightly bigger. Both are fine. But anyway, I could like fill this up now and it not be six or seven little flies inside of this. Um, so I don't feel like I just paid for a box, but I do like the look of the box. It's gonna fit in nicely with the potions that I have um, from the wizarding trunk. So there you go. This next item, I'm gonna say it right now. My husband said it's not worth getting. I got it, <laughs> okay. I'll tell you why. It is um, like part of their potion line and I think it was earlier on and it is the, I would assume this is like a proper, I'll read the whole thing truth serum potion. And it comes in one of these traditional like um, essential oil bottles that you can buy at any craft store where you just, you know, take that out. But it's got a pretty basic label, but it's a similar style to their other potions. So it would fit in nicely. Um, the serum was created to relax the user, blah, 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 blah. Um, brewed with all natural rice bran oil, sandalwood. I think it's just applied directly to pulse points for maximum relaxation. Oh, so it is to relax, but I think I would probably end up using it just as a face oil. Either way, I think the reason, um, I mean, he felt like it could have been done better. I like the simplicity of it and I could see it really fitting in in my bathroom, but it's one that can be really easily done and we'll probably try and tackle that ourselves. But I thought, why not? This might surprise you because whenever I unbox the wizarding trunk box, I tend to pass on the pins. Maybe because they've been running with the portraits. Um, I don't know, but I did like this pin and it is a griffin pin. It's got that nice proper bronze color for the griffin. And if you know anything about me, Dumbledore is one of my favorite characters, if not the top. So anything that is reminiscent of Dumbledore, which as y'all might know, that is right at his entrance. Um, then I would, I, I want it. And it's nice and subtle, it's very simple. I feel like I could wear it at the muggle job and only Harry Potter people would know. I really do not remember what's in here, but this one is very visible to me. It is <laughs> Madame Hooch's Whistle. Um, but here it is up close. Now, the reason I decided to get this is honestly, I don't think I've seen a, a replica of it anywhere else. Um, this would be Quidditch um, situation because it does Madame Hooch. Does it actually work? Probably not. It does work. Sorry, my cat's freaked out a little. <laughs> it actually works. Nope, <laughs> that's a nope from her. But it's a yes for me because I like things that also are working proper. They're not just decoration, but I think we have four items left. Yeah, this really does feel like 
an actual box because I don't know what's in this thing. <laughs> what did I order? It's similar to another one. Let's just pull them both out. I'm just gonna go, oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> I remember now. So one of the vials that I have, the memory vials, is the Ogden um, so September 1925 vial. It's that kind of blue um, liquid that they normally run with and that lacy um, situation in the front, but I never got the other two that they made. So now I do. We have, okay, it's supposed to be an I, important. Concerning Alfred. It's another vial. <laughs> I want a bunch of vials. Um, and so there is that one. It is taller than the Ogden one, which I really like. Similar shape and everything. Different-ish lacy pattern. So I'm gonna guess this is another vial. I think I bought all three. Um, well, two, because I already had the third one. And this one has a different shape. Courtroom, October 31st, that's fitting, 1981. Yes, this one has more of a oval shape compared to the other two and is almost as high. I am hoping to do some vials myself. They're just a little hard to find the actual vials, um, but we'll make it happen. But I will say I have a DIY idea that I would really like to do because I picked an item up um, that is really, really cool and it could have something to do with this, but I would need many more of them. So who knows, maybe that's a DIY we do in the future if I can manage to get the supplies. But now I have three vials. So together they're gonna look really nice. And then I think there are two more items in here. I'm kind of nervous what is going on in these. Are they, uh... Oh, wait, oh, okay. We've got some <clears throat> troll bogies right there. And this is a usable item, look at that green. And I'm pretty sure this glows in the dark, if I'm right. Alchemy for the skin, aloe vera, vitamin, blah, 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 sweet orange essential oil. Let's smell it. Whoa, that is <laughs> an interesting, that is a bright color. I think it does glow in the dark, but it certainly is on the move, right? Should we touch it? Oh. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Maybe I'll check. That does feel nice. That does smell nice. It, it just feels like a, uh, like a body oil that you would put on. So you probably do, I mean, the downside is you probably would wanna use this up because you know some of those ingredients do have an expiration date even if they're quite far out, but I will probably let that sit for a little bit before I do that so I can get the look. Uh, but I think you can easily fill that back up with something else. Okay, we have a one item left and the box is out of here. And it's a big one. What is this? Oh, right, this is not going to fit into Halloween, although the color does. So maybe it will, I don't know. It is another potion, can you tell? Hold on, oh, maybe you can now. They have two Weasley Wizard Wheezes kind of themed, um, like they are likely to have made these potions. And this is the one, I did not get the other. I really only preferred this one. And it is Daydream Potion but it's a really pretty orange. I think there's a luster. I can see it like on the bottom, I think. Or, yeah, there's a little bit after shaking that up. And then on the top, I think you just poke this sucker in. Just stick it to it real good. We've got the classic W with a little point. So I think we just, oh, I wanna get the positioning right. Let's not mess this up. Oh, that's cool. Cause once in, it's in. Here is it with a W on top. How cool is that? It just pokes right into the cork through the wax. I think the orange can fit in. The purple's a little different, but you can definitely utilize purples in Halloween time. So that is everything, <clears throat> I think, other than the coin I can't find, that I got from the Wizarding Trunk store. Do not forget that they have a store. It's no different from, well, LitJoy only has a store now <laughs> until we do that final box, unless we already have. Um, and same for Magic Delivered. So don't forget to check out their store and let me know. Have you got any of these items? Are there any that you are keen? Oh, these really are Halloween-y. Look at that right there, um, that you are keen to get yourself. I would love to know in those comments down below, but until next time, my magical friends, remember to love, hold on, I'm just gonna say it real slowly, what you love, 
with everything you have and keep making magic and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.